Peter here at 2016 Innerdrone, and I'm here with Fred Borda from ProDrone. Fred, how are you doing? All right, thanks. How are you? Cool. Wonderful, thank you. So I see a lot of really cool drones here. Uh, what is ProDrone and what is it that you guys do? Well, so ProDrone is Japan's leading commercial drone maker. Mm -hmm. This is their first show outside of Japan. Mm -hmm. So this is their first opportunity to really show what they can do. So ProDrone works with large industrial companies on a, on a B2B basis to develop solutions for specific problems. Mm -hmm. So we, we're showing a couple of those solutions here at the show. Okay, so specific applications. So somebody comes to you and say, I need to do a bridge inspection from underneath. How can you help me with that? Or I need to carry a cargo somewhere. Absolutely, right. So bridge inspection is a great example. Mm -hmm. So this vehicle right here mm -hmm. uses ducted fan rotors uh -huh. to create negative pressure so it can stick to or cling to mm -hmm. a ceiling or a wall and maintain and then these powered rollers uh -huh. allow it to roll along the surface maintaining uh -huh. a perfectly even focal distance between the camera lens uh -huh. and the inspection surface oh, wow. so you you get really high quality imagery uh -huh. and you're able to inspect or detect cracks all the way down to a tenth of a millimeter. Ah. Does it only work on a horizontal surfaces or can it do verticals too? It can also, it can also do vertical surfaces, yes. So if somebody needs to conduct an inspection of a building and say I have a 60-story building, I need to scan the whole facade, this would be a tool to use? Absolutely. Buildings, bridges, all kinds of infrastructure. That is pretty amazing. Now what about this guy? So this is an all-weather mm -hmm. multi-rotor drone. Mm -hmm. It's completely waterproof. Okay. All the motors are sealed. Yeah. It can land on the water. Mm -hmm. It can, you can see there, there's a camera fitted to it. Yeah. It can shoot in the water yeah. and can come back up out of the water. All kinds of applications for nature preserves mm -hmm. where you've got to shoot in the water, mm -hmm. for all kinds of research, mm -hmm. for cinematography, uh, whatever you can imagine. Yeah. This is probably the most impressive thing I've seen on a show here, quite, quite honestly. What is this and, and what does it do? <laughs> so this is a dual robot arm, uh -huh. large format, multi-rotor drone. Wow. So what this is able to do is grab onto, so you can think of applications like search and rescue, uh -huh. right? Where you're able to grab somebody and pull them to safety. Uh -huh. You could carry something over like a life preserver, yeah. drop the life preserver, yeah. and then allow them to get back in. You could, um, you could use it for industrial applications. So to control an industrial machine, maybe the controls on an industrial machine where it's it's not appropriate to send a person in to do that. Yeah. Or if you've got, say for example, a subject matter expert mm -hmm. who's located remotely, rather than put that person on a plane and send them across the country, yeah. allow them to remotely operate a, a dual armed drone wow. over the network. So how are the arms operated remotely? How does that happen? So that application's not built out right now, mm -hmm. but in terms of what it could do in the future, that's definitely an application. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, what about the lift capability? How much can this lift and what about the endurance on it? So this can lift 10 kilograms okay. and it, it flies for about 10 minutes. Uh -huh. So it's not very long right now, yeah. but ProDrone is proactively working on other kinds of propulsion and power systems that will extend the range. We're, we're really just in the early days on this stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but this is still pretty impressive for early days and stuff. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Really cool. So what about that guy over here? So this is, uh, this is showcasing ProDrone's PSU, the ProDrone Safety Unit, mm -hmm. which is a ballistic parachute that's triggered by a geofence. Okay. So you can have, you can put a geofence around an area. Mm -hmm. If the drone approaches, you can warn, and then as the, if the drone passes past that geofenced area, yeah. deploy the parachute, land the drone. And brings the drone down. Yeah. For more information or to get in touch with you guys, where can I find you? www.prodrone.jp Wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. My pleasure. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you.